Now, where are we headed in this war? Well, first of all, you have to understand, and I'm going to impart this in a moment to us. I'm not just going to try to teach it. We are gaining new strength. To battle at our gates. Now Trenton is a gate to our nation. And God brought us here. And Jamie when you come back up. That anointing to battle at this first gate. Where the first war in this nation was won. Is going to rest down on us. And God said tonight. Not me. God said this will be known as the meeting of beginnings again. So that says we're going to leave out of here with the capacity to win many wars ahead. And you have to know that hell does not like what we're about. And so this is either a time that you're going to be the plunderer or you're going to get plundered worldwide. That's a, that's a word for the world. And uh, there right now, uh, things going on and the Lord says, get ready. I have a people above all people. I have a kingdom people that I am removing nationalism in. So I can deliver them into kingdom victory. Now, now, and this battle we're in, now the Lord spoke this to me very clearly. It was something I could not have uh, seen without him because, you know, a lot of times I've read the Bible so many times and when you've done that, unless Holy Spirit is reading it with you, you're just going to read it out of your mind. And so I, I try to rely upon Holy Spirit to show me something that I have not seen before. And he did recently. He said, I'm taking my people back this year to surround their inheritance. And I'll take them first to the dung gate. And then I'll take them to the dragon gate. And it's right there in Second ne- Nehemiah chapter 2. Because when Nehemiah went back, the first two gates that the Lord took him to were those two gates. In other words, you're going to stand in what seems so stinky in last season are what so tried to pile on top of you last season. And I'm going to take you back there, and this time you're going to rebuild it. Now, that's important. That you look, I don't know how to say this. John probably could say it so much better than me, but or my brother could say it so much better than me. But he's going to take you back to those big piles you had to stand in. And while you are back there this time, you're going to say, this is how this is going to fertilize my future. (laughs) Then he's going to take you to that dragon gate where that dragon and its breath tried to take you out and accuse you and say things about you. And you know what? You're going to blow like this. (laughs) And his fire's going to go out. (laughs) Now, God brought us back to Trenton to say, the dragon and the dung that has now piled up in this nation The Lord says, we came here and I'm beginning again and I'm going to move the piles out and I'm going to shut the dragon down. But I do think this is going to take over and with us 
the next three to four years to really make this transition completely. But the Lord said tonight, you can mark it on your calendar. He's marked it on his calendar. He had a remnant in America that gathered at the first battle site that was won and then we'll go back to where our nation really the root that created our nation in Philadelphia. And let me tell you something. God says we are beginning again tonight. Now, with that, I also see that the strength is coming because there's a new prophetic anointing coming on us. I have felt it. I felt it in me. I have felt the pull aside that God did created something very new in me. It, it caused me to pull some things out of me, words particularly that had come deep down in me. And he's healing me, and uh, he's healing you. And with that, he's reinforcing, and you have to understand, God is God. He takes certain people home on your behalf. And he, he Cheryl... <laughs> uh, he does uh, there's people that are always moving up because he said you've done what you I sent you down there to do we have got to see all this a little different right now I, I, I look at Daniel and Amber and what the Lord did with them to get them back from Israel and when they come up here to minister they'll share that testimony but God just sovereignly said I'm bringing you back because I have other plans. And he will use things right now to get us moving again. Now that's important. So I want you to know we want to loose that prophetic anointing. Uh, 